Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be trying to restore this kind of unusual 040 locomotive from Play Art. Uh, this locomotive was sent in to me from uh, a father and son who watch this channel named uh, Dom and Chris. Uh, so, uh, yeah, anyway, they sent uh, this locomotive as well as a whole variety of other things, which was uh, very generous of both of them. Uh, now, I did try testing this in that video, and it didn't seem to be picking up any current, so I'm not entirely sure what's wrong with it, but uh, yeah, we'll try to fix this thing up. It is uh, certainly kind of an unusual locomotive. I've never seen anything uh, quite like that, but I'm going to be honest, I kind of really like the kind of strange stuff, so uh, yeah, I think this will be uh, sort of a fun restoration. Anyway, let's uh, take this thing over to the track and test it to see uh, exactly if we can figure out what's going on with it, and then try to fix it. All right, so we're now just going to get the unit all set up on the track, and we'll uh, try giving it a little bit of power here. So there's uh, 8 volts, and uh, it's making a bit of a funny noise, but I'm not, uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything, and there's also no current drive when I wiggle it, so this thing is not uh, picking up any power, so we're going to have to figure out exactly why it isn't. All right, so uh, we're going to begin by removing the shell. Uh, it's missing the screw which uh, holds it on, so that's not too difficult. Uh, now we see inside here, that might be the problem right there. There appears to be another contact that goes under here. So there's a whole variety of things. Uh, you can kind of see too that gearbox uh, certainly needs to be cleaned. So we're just going to disassemble the whole locomotive. Uh, so to do that, I'm just going to try to figure this out here. I think if we just uh, sort of wiggle something under here, we'll probably undo these clips uh, just as we've done on this side and then uh, do the same thing on the other side and hopefully this whole thing will uh, come apart. All right, so there's all of that. Uh, having a look over the motor here, uh, this tab is okay, but if we come over here, you can see uh, one of those has actually been pushed under, so I'm really hoping that there are no problems with the brushes. I'm gonna try to get that back out of there. And then uh, we're gonna try applying some power to the motor, but uh, I'm pretty certain there's gonna be a problem with those brushes. Uh, just based on what we've seen here. I don't think it, uh, I think somebody might have uh, tried to open this up at some point. So let's try giving it some power. All right, so I got some uh, live leads right here. As you can see now, uh, hopefully this motor will start. I'm really uncertain as to whether or not it will or not though. Yeah, so what we see right here, we got a really uh, bright light there, but our motor, well, it's not starting, so clearly there's something off there. Serenity. So we've got that motor working. It's uh, obviously not working uh, terribly well, at least from a noise perspective. It doesn't sound great, but I'm starting to think it's due to that worm gear there, because something I noticed is that when you put a bit of pressure on it, it uh, shuts right up. So uh, yeah, I think once we have that gear in there, hopefully it will work properly. Uh, so now what I've gone ahead and done is I actually uh, cleaned up this, so all we need to do now is uh, reassemble it, and hopefully we'll be in business with our brand new locomotive.
All right, so we've got our play art steam locomotive pretty much all rebuilt now So uh, now is really the moment of truth Let's take this thing over to the track and test it to see if our work has paid off All right, let's get this thing all set up on the track here and see if it runs Hey, well sort of runs. It's not very good. It's quite loud because that motor there and that motor is really not in good shape. I tried lubricating everything and uh, it still seems to be uh, making a lot of noise. Well, it's not perfect, but uh, hey, it's a lot better than uh, what we started off with, right? So uh, yeah, in uh, any case, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I had a lot of fun uh, restoring this thing, and I want to make a special uh, thanks out to Chris and Dom for sending this locomotive. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone.